Asana to Go helps you get your content out of Asana, either to copy and paste elsewhere, to print or write to PDF, to export as CSV or JSON, or just view it in a different layout than Asana provides. It can also be helpful when you like to work in Asana, but you need to share your Asana content with others not using Asana. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to use it immediately right out of the box. After that, I'll show how you can use it to create custom output. This requires a bit more effort, but it is very powerful and could even be considered a report writer for Asana when used this way. Installing the extension takes about 30 seconds. The link is in this video's description. Once you do that, uh, you'll see this icon. Start by selecting what you want to output. Click the extension icon to open it. Choose a format and click View and Copy. The sections and tasks are links and the due dates, times, and ranges appear roughly as they do in Asana, even colored red or green as needed. Asana to Go requires no extra login or authentication, and it works with free and premium Asana plans. The extension never modifies any of your data. The output is in the clipboard now, so you can paste it. Back to the Asana project, we'll leave the same selections and open the extension with the shortcut key do view and print, and this is where you can either print or save as PDF. This time we'll select three tasks and choose the cards format. This format is like seeing three right panes for three separate tasks open at once, and it's also useful for comparing. We can expand and collapse some of the sections here and notice that custom fields are automatically supported. You can also make selections in My Tasks or in Advanced Search Results, which means you can combine flexible searching and flexible reporting. Um, here, let's try one more thing, selecting subsections and subtasks, and we'll try a new format here, a simpler one. For CSV output, we'll select three tasks and choose the basic CSV format, uh, view and copy, and then paste into a cell and split it. It works the, similarly in Excel. The standard formats can be useful as is, but they're also provided as jumping off points for you because they won't meet everyone's specific needs. You can duplicate and edit these standard formats or make new ones from scratch tailored however you want. Let's do that for the CSV basic format that we just saw. So we'll duplicate it and give it a name, My CSV Basic. And what we're going to do is move that subtasks to the first column. So that's the header. And then this is the data. So there's a header row and then repeating uh, data rows because they're all the same in the template. And then save it and view it and we see we've moved it. Let's make one simple format from scratch by doing new and the format just has a name, a description, and then some markup which is either HTML or markdown and a template language called handlebars. Optionally some CSS with it. The Helpers tab indicates some of the power and shows you what you have to work with. So on the left side, there's the data that you have accessible. This is really from the Asana API primarily. And you can see it's broken into tasks or subtasks, project, team, workspace, and so on. On the right side, that's where you uh, can select the markup or learn about the markup available to use in your format. So there's handlebars, template language helpers, as you can see, and then a couple of helpers for HTML and the markdown language. Our simple goal is just to show task names and any uh, subtask names if they exist. So we're going to add to the boilerplate in the tasks section and just show the name of the task by going over to the helpers and double clicking it because of the checkboxes that are selected there that allow us to paste it in here. And then the subtask one we'll just type in. And we'll just save that format 
and view and copy as we've done before, and those are the results. Our new format is available to rerun or modify in the custom list. And that's it. Uh, so please take a look at the help for details and especially the caveats section there. And thanks for your time.